guys is me again <laughs> all right guys it's another week like I told you on my last video we are really going through a journey right now of healing um, we started talking about how healing is more than just a physical plane and from there we launched into self-love self-love is extremely important before you can start this healing process it's part of healing and once you get that down pat we are ready to talk about self-acceptance. So that's what this video is about today, um, or this week, is self-acceptance. All right, we are in a generation where so many people is seeking validation. They need to be validated. They need to be loved and accepted from everybody. That's why Instagram is so powerful and Facebook is so powerful. All of your different social medias, they're so powerful because people are seeking validation. You have so many broken people that is going from relationship to relationship that they cannot stand being alone, being by themselves because they always need somebody there whispering in their ear, telling them who they are and telling them that they are accepted and they're worthy. Guys, that is the wrong mentality. Going down this road, you will always be in the wrong relationship and you risk having people in your life that's not supposed to be in your life. And they can really use that as a form of manipulation to have you doing things that you never thought that you would do and to keep you stuck when technically you're really not stuck. The mental is a very powerful plane that I think majority of the time we overlook. Your mental and emotional state is extremely important and you have to be, you have to be um, cautious of your mental and emotional well-being. Um, so guys, I want you to think beyond the physical. The physical portion of self-acceptance is people attaching themselves to people. You're attaching yourself to your parents, you're attaching yourself to your friends, and you're attaching yourself to your followers. And you need those people to give you validation, to give you guidance, and to tell you that you're doing the right or wrong thing. I want you to know right now that there is a powerful being inside of you that will give you all of the answers that you need. Everything that you seek is already inside of you, so you don't need to find it in anyone else. I think before you connect with anyone, you must know yourself. You must know yourself inside and out. And that's why I told you during this process that you cannot come to self-acceptance without having self-love. Because if you start with self-acceptance, you're going to end up staying on that physical plane that you're going to connect with someone and someone is going to tell you your worth. And even though they're speaking good things in your life, it's still not something that you really believe because you're depending on an external factor to tell you who you are. And you're more in depth. You're more, you're more amazing than that. In order for you to truly understand who you are, you have to tell you who you are. And, by, and what I mean by that is you have to tap into spirit. Spirit will tell you everything of who you are. Things that people don't even know because they haven't seen it manifested yet. You have so many gifts and talents inside of you that is waiting to come out. And the reason why it haven't came out yet is because people haven't noticed it. If you're depending on people when it comes to self-acceptance, then you're only gonna see, you're only gonna understand what people point out. How many times have you know um, you asked other people, you know, do I look good in this? You know, um, you know, what is the best part of me? You know, do you like my smile? Do you like this? Do you like that? Guys, people really don't have to answer those questions. You should know yourself inside and out. You should you should feel confident when you walk out the house, and you should reflect that on the other people that I'm good that this body is banging I don't care what state is in you know I don't care if your body is still under construction you have to accept it you know it's, it's not for everyone else to accept you know when people start 
um, teasing or saying the things that they don't like about you, it will never take root if you accept it yourself. If you got to the point where you are saying, this is me, you got to deal with it, and I love myself, then no matter what negative thing people say, it will never take root. It will never even cross your mind. As soon as somebody gave it to you, you deflected it automatically. People, people words have no more power over you. And so guys, this is the thing that we have to work on. We have to work on self-acceptance. And the way that we solve this problem is of course by going back. Why? Why did you need people approval? You know, um, with me being a foster parent, self-acceptance is one of the things I see all the time. Foster kids are always looking for somebody approval and they were taught that mentally. It is such a mental mind game in the foster care system and it is a failure on these kids that they don't even realize it. And I try to wake them up and open their minds every single time. They have someone at every moment directing their every move. Um, some of these foster kids, by the time they um, become 18, they have been moved to 20 different homes. That's no joke. That's not me being dramatic. And that's not me just adding a number to make it more significant. Kids are being moved on a daily basis. I just had a, um, I just had a six-year-old, um, and I was his first placement. Well, he's, he's six now, but I had him for two and a half years. And now an aunt came in out of the blue, and she has him. And now I don't know if he's actually going to stay there. Some may happen where he come back in the system, and then somebody else is going to get him. And, and that's just how it works. You know, um, at this point in my life, I'm now 32, and I have fostered nine teenagers, um, two school-age kids, and that's it, just, just um, nine teenagers and two school-age kids. And each and every last one of them, I had to teach them self-acceptance, that you don't need your caseworker to, to, to validate you, to tell you who you are. You don't need a parent, you don't need a therapist, you don't need all of these things, um, all of these people in your life telling you um, who you are. At this point, you should know who you are. You know, I'm here to help you to open your mind that you can start seeing those things, but I can't tell you everything. Because if I tell you everything, I'm going to be added in this circle of people that you're using to get your identity instead of going deep within and finding out who you are yourself. Self-acceptance is a process just like self-love because in order for you to get there, you have to tap into yourself. You have to ask yourself these questions. And when I say yourself, you're talking the spirit. So um, just like I told you last time, guys, um, meditate, get a purple candle, light that purple candle because purple is the color for um, spiritual awakening. Um, you can also light a blue candle as well. Um, and then, of course, any white or black is good because white and black, both of them um, defects, um, both of them take away negativity. It removes um, negativity. So black or white, whichever one you want to use, you can use that also. But guys, you need to tap into self-acceptance. You need to accept yourself. And stop hiding who you are. Don't be afraid to show the real you to the world. You know, there's so many people that is in the closet and they are so afraid to show themselves to their parents because their parents is not gonna accept it or they believe that society is not gonna accept it. And because of that, they live a double life that, you know, I'm gonna live, um, I'm, gonna, I'm gonna live in a perception that you want me to live in when I'm around you but when I'm behind closed doors, I'm going to live the way I want to live. And this goes in so many ways. You have um, a lot of people that don't want to come out about their sexuality. You have um, some people that like a different race, but they stay with the race that they were born because that's what their parents want. It's so many things that we keep bottled inside because we're so afraid to be ourselves. And we're living a life for somebody else. You have to choose to stop living a life for 
all of the people around you and to actually wake up and live this life for you. Life is short. You can't keep depending on everyone else. You can't keep allowing everyone else to deflect what they think your life should be and then you're accepting that uh, reality. You're making that perception your um, reality. You, you are manifesting everyone else's dream in your life instead of the dream that you really want to pursue. Guys, go within and find courage. Um, you need to press through and learn how to love yourself so that you can accept yourself. Once you accept yourself, it's nothing that nobody in this world can do to get you from off your path. Walk the path that you want to walk. Do the things that you want to do with no regret. Life is too short. Live your life. Guys, accept yourself. Stop seeking validation. Stop thinking you're going to get it from your partner. It's not their responsibility. Stop thinking that you're going to get it from all of your followers. It's not their responsibility. Stop thinking you're going to get it from all of your subscribers. It's not their responsibility. Stop thinking you're going to get it from anyone in your circle. And for one moment, please, go within and learn how to accept yourself. Whether the world like it or not, hell, I don't care if I like it or not, you need to be you regardless of what people say. All right, guys, next week, you already know, it's time to talk about self-respect. But for now, keep focusing on self-love and self-acceptance.